Do you want a nice, cool, refreshing Pepsi, but with the taste of a hot piece of dentine fire? Oh boy, are you in luck this summer, because we've got Pepsi fire with the hot taste of cinnamon to go along with your cola. Because Lord knows on a hot summer day like this, I need me a cool refreshing soda that's going to make me piss fire and leak lava out my ass. <laughs> I, I doubt it'll be that hot. <laughs> well, this is a limited time Pepsi that you can find in stores and I only recently found out about. Honestly, I didn't know when I saw Pepsi fire and cinnamon flavored I, I didn't know if this was a state thing or a Japan thing and when I went online to order it the headline was Pepsi fire hasn't hit stores yet, but people already hate it. So great. Fantastic I'm about to drink the monster trucks of Pepsi uh, I wonder how much it'll be like uh, Pepsi holiday spice which memory serves me correctly, kind of had a cinnamony taste to it, but I don't remember it being spicy or marketing itself as spicy. It smells like, kind of smells like Pepsi Holiday Spice, honestly. Yeah, it, it doesn't smell hot or anything. It doesn't smell like fire, like, mm, plus one. It, it doesn't smell like I've just put my face over the stove. Interesting. Uh-uh. That doesn't taste like cocaine at all. I mean the cocaine energy drink. Remember the cocaine energy drink? Where it was like hot cinnamon or something and you drank it and it just scorched the fuck out of your throat? This isn't that. This isn't... This isn't spicy at all. Which I'm glad because I don't want a spicy soda. Um, for a soda that... Apparently, people are hating before it comes out, which I guess I can kind of see. It's called Pepsi Fire, and it suggests you're going to just shoot fire at your ass once you drink it. That ain't the case. It's it, it does combine both a Pepsi taste and a cinnamon taste. Uh, in, honestly, in a fairly decent way, I'll say. I mean, this doesn't really taste like something I'd get again, but it... It combines these two flavors better than I think, like, Pepsi Blue did with the berry and Pepsi flavor. Um, there's... I'm feeling a tiny bit of heat on my tongue. Nothing that extreme. More like if you go to, like, a chain restaurant and you get, like, the mild flavored something. It's like, okay, there might be a little heat there, but eh, not really. For all I know, it could just be the bite from just drinking a soda. Uh, this tastes like you were chewing Big Red and, uh, the gum, not the soda. It tastes like you were chewing a stick of Big Red and took a drink of Pepsi and you got both of those tastes in your mouth. <laughs> it could be, it could be called, uh, they could have called it Crystal Pepsi 2 Aftershock. We've taken the crystals from a bottle of Aftershock and just stuffed it in a Pepsi because fuck you. <laughs> this doesn't have that like burning of like hot damn or aftershock or something like that. It, it, it doesn't have that. It's toned down. I mean, God, it's, you probably can't tell by looking at it, but it is like fucking brown red. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's a curiosity drink. It's a curiosity drink. You get it. You might not hate it. I certainly don't hate it. It's fine. It's something you have once to say, like, Hey, you remember that time I drank Pepsi Fire? And that's it. It's nothing I'd buy again, but I'll probably finish this bottle. <laughs> we'll just have to wait 20 years for that giant campaign of Bring Back Pepsi Fire. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it's Pepsi Fire. See ya.